by Yahoo Infantry Barracks, from military outpost to an educational and cultural space. Since the 16th century it had become evident that the San Juan Puerto Rico port was a strategic location on the maritime routes that connected the Spanish colonies and the Americas with the metropolis. Its value as a port and haven for the Spanish warships that plied the West Indies increased even more as the wars in Europe intensified, and independent nations came into being in the Americas, a situation that made it ripe for attacks by pirates, corsairs, and buccaneers, as well as for armed expeditions by enemy nations. Between 1765 and 1816, the Spanish crown invested 3,862,714 pesos, brought from the Visa Royalty of New Spain and Mexico, to complete a major renovation project of the fortifications of the San Juan military outpost. However, the facilities that were constructed were insufficient to house the garrison that was deployed there. When Mexico became independent in 1821, the cost of the new construction in San Juan was paid out of funds from the local treasury. In 1838, the Spanish Corps of Engineers tried to remedy the housing situation by renovating the former convents in the cities of Santo Domingo and San Francisco, to convert them into infantry barracks. The old convents were so deteriorated that it was not feasible to make the conversion, so that in 1854 the Spanish Crown approved the construction of infantry barracks in the Bayaja sector. In 1857, the Spanish Military Corps of Engineers began construction on six lots in that area. The barracks was completed in 1863 at a total cost of 475,000 pesos. For 14 months the building was used as a hospital for patients that came from the Dominican Republic. In 1865, after some repairs, it was once again used as infantry barracks. The use that it was given by the United States between 1898 and 1939. Later, it was in use as part of the Rodriguez Hospital, until it was closed in 1960. The building was transferred to the government of Puerto Rico in 1976, and rehabilitation work was completed in 1992. At present, the building is used for the main offices of the State Historic Preservation Office, the Museum of the Americas the Puerto Rico Academy of the Spanish language and other cultural entities. This exhibition employs text and images to narrate the origins, physical transformations, and variety of uses of the last large-scale military structure erected by the Spanish Crown in the Americas. The exhibition is accessible to the public and includes a ceramic replica that allows for a three-dimensional view of the current condition of the structure and its surrounding plaza. Through this exhibition, our office highlights the significance of this historic property located in the centuries-old walled city of San Juan, Puerto Rico, a site of high heritage value which we have cared for responsibly for over 20 years. State Historic Preservation Office of Puerto Rico